Hi guys, it's Michelle. Today I'm going to be showing you around my guest bathroom. I haven't changed a whole lot because I absolutely love the way it looks, but I'm going to show you, give you some more details on what I have done. So first I'm going to start with the countertop area right here. And what I have here is this orchid that I put into my DIY mirrored box. I've made this box on my channel a couple of times. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link that video down below. And then on the other side of the countertop, I have this beautiful tall candle holder that I got from Home Goods a while ago. And in front of it is where I have my soap dispenser and my paper towels. So my soap dispenser is from Bath and Body Works, the sleeve. And this soap, Midnight Frost, it smells really, really good. Um, but I do like getting these sleeves from Bath and Body Works. They have several different kinds. And then right behind that, I have another DIY, which is just a napkin holder from the Dollar Tree and two mirrors glued to it. And I've used this for years. I've, I made this years ago and it works great for the, the paper towels. The vanity was chalk painted with Waverly chalk paint and, ele and elephant gray, and that is from Walmart. Super easy project. So now I'm going to take you over here to the shelf area. I'm going to tell you how I made the shelves, these shelves over here. These are DIYs, okay? Um, basically, I got these brackets here from Home Depot. Uh, the brackets attach to the wall, and then your shelf kind of sandwiches in between the brackets okay and I just bought a piece of wood six inches wide from Home Depot I sanded the edges and then I did a gray wash on it and they have been up here they're very sturdy and they were very very inexpensive and I'll put links below for everything I can find so right on top of the toilet is where I have this mirrored tray and this is where I'm keeping my toilet paper yes I still have toilet paper I know everybody went crazy with the toilet paper <laughs> But anyway, so on the first shelf here is where I have this candle holder where I put in some greenery that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then on the top shelf, I still have this picture and I just printed off this Be Our Guest uh, sign off of Google and put it into the frame. Now I'm gonna quickly show you how I folded these towels to set on the shelf. I get a lot of questions about that and I do have some towel folding videos uh, that I will be linking below in a playlist if uh, you were wondering about how to fold smaller towels to put on a shelf. I will have those linked below. And guys, if you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like home decor, decorating, DIYs or anything home related, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. So guys, here's the other side of the bathroom. And I did hang curtains all the way to the ceiling. And I did that using a, sh a shower curtain rod. So I'm gonna give you a closer look here at the actual shower curtain. What I did was I put two shower curtains together um, so that it would have a more full look. And as you can see right here, um, where the two shower curtains come together. I did not sew that. I used a fabric tape and it is washable. Uh, I have washed these, these shower curtains time and time again and they have held up fine. Now over here, I used a command hook so that I wouldn't mess up the wall to hold back my curtains with my tassels here. And in the center, I still have my starburst decor and it has not rusted, nothing has happened to it. It's been holding up really, really well. I get that question a lot. So before the end of the video, I will show you how the curtains are attached at the top. But like I said, I just used another sh tension rod, another shower curtain rod. And over here on the other side of the bathroom, I did put a towel rack over the door because this is a really small bathroom. And so people can hang their clothes or towels or what have you. And then I do have a full length mirror as well um, over on the other side that matches my mirror over here. Okay, so I want to tell you about my light fixture. This is actually the picture of the one in my master bathroom because this bathroom, if I turn off the light, everything goes dark because there are no windows. So it's the exact same thing. It comes in basically four parts. 
you have the base, which is this right here is $35. All of it is from Lowe's. And then you buy the globes that go on the end. These are the globes. They're $22.99 each. And so for a full light fixture, you're paying like a little bit over $100, which is not bad. And I'll try to put links below to everything. But if you have any questions, of course, just let me know in the comments. So guys, I'm going to take you around the bathroom one more time. And as always, if you have questions about anything that you've seen in the video, please let me know. Guys, please be safe out there. And I wish the best for you and your family. Everything is good with me and my family. Thank goodness. And I will be doing another video this week. So look out for that and I will see you in the next one.